Jesse back at it again. And we're doing something that we've been neglecting for too, too long for so many different reasons, right? The country was in different directions, tent on by from time to time, but we had to give the Haitian Central Park, is what I call it, some love, some affection, some attention, right? Because there's so much history, there's so much things to appreciate here uh, at what we call Shamas, right? It is the central area of Port-au-Prince. It is the, 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 the nose <laughs> and the center of the face, right? And so we're gonna do this episode. We're gonna come, we're driving around, we're gonna show you, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna show you different things that this city space has to offer. Right? And no matter what you may hear, listen, just has so much parts of Haiti. If you do it safely, right, you do it smart, you, you come, you hang out, you, you just walk around, you, there's some souvenirs down the street, you can buy some souvenirs, you head out, right? Ain't nothing gonna happen to you, man. I'm for real. It's, it's, it's easy peasy, crazy here. Just do it smart as you would do anywhere else that you travel. So, what, what are we in front of right now? We're in front of La Constitution de 1801. Is to honor the very first constitution by uh, Toussaint Louverture, he signed, right? And truly, a lot of people mark this as really the turning point of what makes Haiti, what has made, what is Haiti, Haiti, right? The constitution, which of which this island built on and, and, and every other iterative uh, president made a version of to grow and govern the country, right? So again, right here, this place, the constitution, the Milwit Saint, right? The monument celebrating really the, the very first heartbeat of this nation. We're in front of the statue of Alexander Pichon, one of the great founders great important leaders of the, the Republic of Haiti, right? Truly one of the reasons Port-au-Prince was part of his dominion ship, right? Even though at the time he ran it, the country was split in two. A lot of the most, what we know Haiti as the policies, it's because of uh, this great man here. And one of the great things I, I appreciate so much about Haiti, honestly, is the fact that we have so many statues of great black men. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say just like that. See, this, this particular building is, incredible right i mean it's, it's it is a truly awe-inspiring uh, monument and testament so in front of us here is the statue of the founder truly the founder of the country jean jacques de Sally. it was it was through his efforts that we are here today in a country called Haiti, right? His, his will, his push, his leadership got us that final photo after they captured Toussaint Louis Of course, you, you can go Google the history of the country. I'm not here for that. I'm just here to admire, truly, uh, the Place Chamas that honors so many of our great leaders, so many of our great founders. This Alim is one of those key, key figures, right? And again, I mean, just the beauty. Well-preserved, gated off, high above, nothing to do but awe at who we are historically in this incredible open public space. In front of us here is you know, one of our most popular images, the image of Neg Maon. This is an image of a slave fighting right and informing uh, the, uh, his fellow slaves fighting for their freedom that there's there's danger nearby and they use a conch shell a conch shell high above to warn others that hey something's coming get ready right and the enigma represents that and this is a miniature statue we have a couple of different statues all across the country this is one that of course had to be here you know in the central place honoring so much of our history This statue, of course, is of the one and only Toussaint Louverture, right? The Black Napoleon, the guy who was able to conquer and defeat the Spanish, the British, anyone who stood before the French, anyone who stood before him in combat, faced defeat, right? And Toussaint Louverture 
the, the man, the myth, right? This is his statue. Yeah, you can see his stature, right? Uh, so much is owed to him, and and honestly, I'm, I'm I'm so happy to be in front of here and be showing him to you guys because of that, because of that strength, because of that history, right? Sense that he's placed in a spot that's so central and important to the the functioning of uh, the government and administration. Because to your left right here is the court of Cassation. It's the primary court here, the, the legislative courts for the country that keeps the other two pieces of check. And behind us, really, right behind Tucson Lubatsu, so, so important that he has the White House, right, be right behind us. But of course, unfortunately, the earthquake took it down. It has been restored. I hope to be back one day when the pass is restored and rebuilt, right? But for now, it's an empty lot. But the symbols, the symbol, the symbolism is still there. We got Tucson looking towards the future with the core of the executive branch behind him, right? And when we look to our right, we see the bicentennial monument. It was a monument built in 2004 to mark our 200th year um, since, since independence, since 1804, right? It, it has some interesting aspects. It was supposed to have a restaurant at the top and a bunch of things going on the, the side and, and be able to go up very similar to an Eiffel Tower, something like that. And also it's supposed to have, we're supposed to have a flame at the very tip top. The idea was way on paper, but so much when it comes to Haiti, the execution, uh, not so much, unfortunately. But nonetheless, the Bicentennial still is a, to me, a beautiful building. And I do hope one day, like so much of Haiti that's under construction, I do hope one day it will, it will, it will be fully at capacity, done, and a symbol of 200 years of Haiti. Shamas, and when it comes time to rest your feet, rest your soul, right? There's one place in particular I recommend for all of downtown Port au Prince, and that is a little spot, little spot right, right central there. You might miss it, you might miss it if you're not paying attention, but I'm telling you, there is an oasis beyond those doors, and so I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and take you inside Plaza Hotel. favorite spots, and it's just one, two, three, four, five, just run through it, right? And one of it, just, just to start, service clientele, vraiment exceptionnel. 
one of the big ones is just the environment. The environment, I mean, it, it is genuinely an oasis in the city. I mean, look at this. I, I, mean, I might as well have been in Provence right now. Look at this. I got the trees around me. I got the cool breeze flowing, right? I got, I hear birds are chirping. You know, when it, but you literally need to recharge yourself in the city. Plaza Hotel. This out you. In other words, this is the architecture. I mean, you can just see that this is a, a complex that has a lot of personality and a story to be told. I mean, look, I mean, just look at, yeah, you can see this sea of balconies as you look around, as it has a sort of uh, um, closed offness to it, which means, again, you're, you feel like wrapped up in a blanket, right? Uh, and, and of course, I mean, you have somewhere around 90, 90, we're gonna talk to the folks <laughs> who helped run this place, but 96 rooms just about. I mean, that's, that's a lot. I mean, it's easily the largest uh, hotel I, uh, in Haiti I feature, right? So 96 plus rooms, that's, so that's about, about to think, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's keep walking. of midday water access in downtown Port-au-Prince for just 15 bucks all day and it covers food and drinks. Listen, <laughs> listen, Linda. <laughs> Plaza Hotel got you covered. Take a look behind me, take a look behind me. All that, all that. It's, it's, you enjoy it if you're staying here, if you just want to pop in the pool, cool off after a long day, that's all part of the experience. You hear? <laughs> That's another reason. And another reason. The rooms. It's really important. The rooms have to be comfortable, right? And I feel and when I when I'm here, this is I'm not just a resident, right? I'm just not, I'm not just a visitor. I am someone who is oh, an executive. When each room has this much comfort, <laughs> this must ease, right? This guy has me coming back. And it has had me coming back, right? So anyways, listen, I, I gotta wash my SpongeBob real quick, so uh, <laughs> I'll give you another reason in a minute. And another reason, so many different room options, right? This one right here is right off the balcony. You can walk right out, right? And the whole entire ness of the hotel is in front of you. And the beds, let me tell you, a lot of, a lot of beds, a lot of hotels, you know, there there's so many stars, but their beds just are comfortable. This right here, look, darn near memory foam. You hear me? Good stuff all around, no matter what you choose here. I promise you. The reason a lot, of, a lot of my viewers ask, hey, does this hotel have a safe? I don't know what you guys are, trying, are bringing from, from back and forth for gold bars, diamond rings, I don't know. <laughs> but, anyways, look, 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 leave it alone. I don't want no comments this time. Here is your safe. They have a safe, okay? All right. <laughs> one of my primary reasons I mentioned the staff before but generally I need to mention it again the staff is 1010 and one of the key pieces of why this place operates so effectively we have Vanessa 810 marketing manager for this beautiful establishment good to have you on camera good to be talking with you Thank right you for having me tell us what makes Plaza Hotel so special first and foremost um, you don't find an oasis in the middle of downtown anywhere 
So where when you come here, you really feel relaxed, you really feel at ease because yes, there is everything going on outside, but when you're here, you're safe and stuff. They are here for you. They want to help you have your experience how you want it. And second thing is that we are, we, we pride ourselves in being typically patient. Like um, we're not modern okay. as or a lot of our competition. Uh, you just embrace the history of what it is means to be Asian. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we're in Chun Yeah. So there's not more authentic than authentic yeah. than that. Yeah. Capacity. What are we talking about here? How much you can you guys handle? Ninety six rooms. But 96 room, don't forget that we have double rooms, meaning like that 96 room, meaning maybe 150 people. Wow. That's you guys are definitely the largest I've had on C Gen That's great. Wow. Um, definitely in Port au Prince, yes, we're the largest. Oh yeah, yeah. The, okay, that's yeah. great. In Port au Prince, that's great. In central, right. central downtown, yeah. And what else can you do here? What sort of, what sort of, you know, um, events? Like, can you do it? Like, what? We have the pool. Of course. We have the pool, which is a major thing for us. It's so hot. Yes. Um, but we also do conferences. We have um, five conferences room, ranging from 12 to 300 people. Mm -hmm. um, we do weddings. We do baptism. Um, communion. So whatever you have in your mind, you want to do something special. It can be done. It can be done. Awesome. Definitely. Awesome. And you got parking too. I yes. know that. We probably oh, yeah. We have parking for about 100 cars. Oh, that's great. That's yes. great. Nice and secure parking. That's secure yeah. inside parking, yeah. yes. Now, the history of this hotel. I know it was about when was it built? Like, you know. Um, it was built in 1951. Wow. So, meaning it's been there for a while. 60, what? So we're in 2020. That's 70 years yeah. of history, just about. Wow. Um, it's a family oriented. It's been in the Pierre family for more than 60 years now. Um, and before that, though, we were holiday. If you would ask in the streets like where the plaza is, a lot of people would scratch their heads. Okay. But if you ask them for holiday, they would say, yeah, it's right there. We used to have the franchise. Um, and then they just decided, okay, they wanted to do their own thing. Okay. And then we became the plaza. plaza yeah. Authentically, you know. And um, we've, seen there, we've seen a lot of politicians mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. you know, because so we're yeah, in downtown yeah. and every political... Yeah. Um, function is here, legislative, yeah. exactly. congressional, so we've seen a lot parliamentary. Of important people yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. And um, our, our staff is proud to say that we have helped a lot nice, nice. in that in nice. this sense. Now, how do they get a hold of you guys? How do they find you guys? Where can they go? How can they book <laughs> to oh, so get many, a room here? So many ways. Um, first of all, we have a website www.plazahaiti.com um, We are also on Expedia in bookings, but we encourage um, direct booking on our website. It comes with discounts and stuff like that. So, um, Email reservations plural mm -hmm. at plazahaiti.com reception at plazahaiti.com or phone number um, 2814-6000. There's too many ways to get a hold and get a contact. <laughs> oh, and, and we're also on, on Facebook, Facebook and in IG and YouTube and you know. All right, so, uh, but yet there's still gonna be somebody like, man, how can I get a hold of these guys? <laughs> too many ways yeah. and they're gonna be below, all right? Too many ways. <laughs>saying the kitchen area the food the drinks are all included in terms of why you know I am recommending this place what I have in front of me while you know the food's coming out very soon while, while I am waiting we have a mix a cocktail mix we food is what it's called <laughs> don't repeat it too loud in front of your parents you may get in trouble this this what's in here right is uh, we have melon watermelon we have cherry uh, a little bit of uh, uh, lemons in here and of course, rum, right? Really good stuff.
Stuff. Oh, refreshing, not too strong. A1 stuff, A plus stuff. So here we are, the food is right in front of us here. We have quite the selection. I mean, listen, by pro typic Haitian, simple song, right? There is no sort of you know, a lot of places you go and you have these hamburgers, you have these uh, uh, sandwiches that aren't necessarily, that, that, they're for somewhere else, right? And not, necessarily, not necessarily the worst thing, but sometimes you just want some good old fashioned quality Haitian cooking and Plaza Hotel has you covered, you hear me? I mean, even if you ain't staying, you can always swing by, like, wait, I need a spot where I can get some good, well done Haitian cooking. Yo, I said Plaza has you. All right, check this out. What we have in front of us here, we have a lumbi with some rice, we got some tisala uh, de some salad here, and then and then also a little bit of avocado, right? And this lambi, for folks who don't know what lambi is, by the way, lambi is a it's a it's a seafood, very common in Haiti, super common, and I mean in fact, we can usually find buy these just in little containers off the street. So many different ways to get it, but not too many ways that do it right. Let's taste something. Let's see something. Well seasoned. The true factor, that's what some of you have to consider when eating lumbi. The true factor, a lot of times it's, it's almost like rubber, other places. Here. Hope you counted how many chews I took. That took five chews, that's it. Five bite, five little muscle movements, and it was down my throat. That's what you call a well done lumbi meal, all right? Of course, you have the right rice here. Goes without saying, the rice is solid. Now, I'm gonna do a switch of rule here. I'm gonna slide this over. I'm gonna bring this over. It's a little closer to me. And what we got here is a, we have a cabri, a boucané, as they say. It's a, uh, a, a grilled goat meat meal with some mixed rice, right? Now, let's go ahead and see. A lot of places you go, they'll offer you tasso, which is like a, a beef, right? Not too many places really offer that goat done right. Look at that. I didn't even cut it. Guys, I didn't even cut it. I just kind of just put some pressure on there and it just pulled apart. That tells you everything you need to know right there. Check this out. Bah -ha -ha. It made me into a goat. That's how good this goat was. It made me into a goat. <laughs> Yo, listen, this is solid food. 10-10. When you come here, try the lambi. Try the kabu bukane. Right, and of course, I gotta get a little bit of the rice, you know, as a good Haitian man. Gotta get a little bit of the rice. Mmm, that's that. The rest of your ZPE. A very earthy taste. Rice is 10 10. Listen, enough chit chat. I got to eat. Go on. Go ahead and get going. We showed you the the facilities, we showed you the indoor space, right? We showed you how green this space is, we showed you the pool, we showed you the rooms, the balconies, the comfortable beds, the whole nine yard, right? We showed you it, we showed it all to you. And that was after we went around and showed you Shamas. We showed you the statues, the history, we talked about the different things that are going on in that central area, the people, you know. So I think we had a full hearty episode. So I think <laughs> We can put Shamas officially in the C Genty Sights and Sounds list. All right? Listen, guys, we do this every week. If you're new here, if you don't know what's going on, make sure you subscribe, catch up. We got so much other content. And as always, per usual, we'll be back at it again. What? And we're back at it again. Peace. Mm -hmm.